I'm going to welcome on board who better than actually the CMD of HAL joining us right now, Hindustan Aeronautics, CB Anand Krishnan to talk about how fabulous their earnings have been and what the visibility is like uh, going forward. Mr. Anand Krishnan, thank you so much for taking the time out and joining us today. And, you know, uh, it's almost become habitual now. Extremely strong set of numbers for the quarter as well as FY24. You've now guided for a consistent double-digit revenue growth going forward. You did about 13% revenue growth. Do you see this accelerating to, say, 15 to 20% range in FY25? What's the number that you have in mind? Uh, thank you, madam. This is uh, really, uh, I mean, we are thankful that you have given us this opportunity to be there today morning to explain the growth story of HAL. As you are aware that last year we have registered a double-digit growth. In fact, the double-digit growth is what we are to reach in the current financial year, that is FI25. But in FI24 itself, we have reached 13% growth. And with the sort of robust order book which is in place, and with orders being there in the pipeline, and with more and more trust being given to indigenization programs, I am confident that we will be able to sustain and keep growing. At, the, at an average rate of, I mean, uh, definitely at a double-digit rate growth. And our intention is that to see that uh, this 13% has become the benchmark now, we should at least, at least at the minimum, we should sustain this 13%. And we are hopeful that with more and more execution of orders coming through in the next few years, the growth rate is likely to pick the momentum. And we are confident that we should be able to reach around 15% in the next two to three year time frame. What is more important is that this growth rate is going to be sustainable for the next few years, given the current order book position and visibility of orders in the pipeline for the future. Will that 15%, sir, become 20%? No, we, are, we, are, we also wanted to do that, but at present we would like to always be on a conservative, which will always be on a conservative uh, uh, pipeline, but at least 15% uh, is we can something where visibility is very clear. And uh, with the more programs coming in, like the uh, Indian medium role helicopter project, which has been taken up, and with the LCA Mark II and the AMCA project, which is all lined up, we are not counting on that. I am only talking about with the existing platforms and with the existing visibility of orders at 15% growth rate. But the, I mean, with these projects coming in, definitely 20% in the next five-year time frame, we should be targeting it. So you're talking about, uh, you know, your orders. You're expecting to achieve an order book of almost about one and a quarter lakh crore rupees by the end of uh, FY25. Where are these orders expected to come from? And given the current geopolitical construct, uh, what could be order book size, say, in the next two to three years? Yeah, today we have got an outstanding order book of almost close to 94,000 crores. And we expect the orders in for the next three to six months time frame of another 50,000 crores to come through. This is especially the 240 numbers of uh, engines for the Sukhoi aircraft and then the additional Sukhoi which is, which is planned, 12 numbers of additional Sukhoi which is being planned. Apart from that, the LUH order which is also to come for 12 numbers, that is a light utility helicopter. This is all there at the very advanced stages and the order that should get inked at any time now. Now, apart from that, we also see visibility of uh, further numbers of uh, uh, I mean, these uh, engine programs and the 97 Mark 1A, which has been announced, and then the 156 LCH present which has also been announced. So these all would add to the order book position, but at least in the next one year time frame, we expect the order book of a minimum of 50,000 crores and which will go up to, oh, I mean, another uh, one and a half lakh crores in the next one year to two year time frame. So by the end of, in, in the next, within the next three years, I can say HAL order book to swell to around uh, 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 three and a half lakh crores is what we expect, uh, even in, sp in spite of liquidating at an average rate of almost uh, 35 to 40,000 crores as we, as we see the growth of 13% over a period. Order book could double in three years then? One and a half, 1.3, 1.4 becoming three lakh. We were saying that three years, your order book could double. No. No. No, I am talking about 1.25 lakhs is what we expect by FY25, year end FY25. 1.25 lakhs will be, today the order book is 94,000 crores, the order book will become to 1.25 lakh crores in uh, by FY25 with an accretion of 40,000 crores where, where, where towards the engines which I have, uh, I mean, just mentioned. 
towards the 831 FP engines for the Sukhoi 240 numbers and then the 12 additional Sukhois. So that would take up the order book to 1,25,000 crores by FI25. What I am talking is beyond FI25, for the next two year time frame, the order book would uh, swell to around 3 lakh crore plus. With 97 LCA coming through and then with 156 Prachand helicopters and then the UHM utility helicopters marine for the Navy which is getting developed and the TED BF, I mean, sorry, and the, uh, I mean, the other ALH program of another 50 numbers, all of these would take the order book to 3 lakh crore plus in the next three year time frame. Don't want to get this one wrong, sir. Let me just uh, summarize this important point. Your current order book for FY25, the calendar year with the financial year we are in, you expect it to go to 1.2 lakh crore. You've already given us from where it will go to where in FY25. But yes. additionally, yes. based yes. on the new announcements, yes. you are saying that in the next three years, Correct. it could go to 3 lakh crore, right? Yeah, the, I, I'm talking about where the visibility is there. It will go up to almost 3 lakh. I'm talking about including the current order book and the orders which are to accrue in the the, the outstanding order book of 94,000 crores, the current uh, further order book of another 40,000 crores, which will make to 1,25,000, which will get added up to another 1,90,000 to 2 lakh crores in the next two, two year to 2 to 3 year time frame, which means that with 1.25 lakh crores as an FY25 plus another 2 lakh crores, it will cross 3 lakh crores is what I mean. Fantastic. So, 3 lakh crore order book in two and a half to three years, I think that is going to be a marvelous uh, kind of a, you know, marvelous kind of a number. How will you execute an order book which will grow from current sub 1 lakh to 3 lakh in three to four years? Do you have, you need to invest more, you need capabilities, you need manpower, you need to invest in capex. Could you walk us through the plans? Yeah, we have already taken the initiative. We have anticipated all of this to come through in the next three to four years. So what we are today trying to do is that we are trying to increase our capacities. We are continuously increasing, going on with capacity augmentation. As you are aware, the LCA Mark 1A, which was to be produced at 16 numbers per annum, now we are augmenting the capacity to 24 with the opening of the third line in NASI. So the program for the fixed wing aircraft as far as the Tejas is concerned is already taken care and we can go up further from 24 to 30 with incremental investment if there are any, if the, if need arises, if we'll have to liquidate the, I mean, the order book, if we'll have to like, deliver the aircraft much faster. So we are having the capacity for the fixed wing and on the helicopter segment, the Tumkur facility has already been operational and the, we are also going in for expansion of phase two, where the numbers will go up from 30 numbers as planned, 30 helicopters at present to almost 60 helicopters, in addition to 30 helicopters in the helicopter division and Bangalore. Apart from that, we are also expanding our ROH capacity so that the more repair and overall of aircraft can be done in our NASIC plant and in our Bangalore based divisions. So that all in all, we wanted to see that the capacity expansion is a continuous process and we are focusing more on capacities to see that the order book, the orders are getting, used, getting executed well in time and there are no delivery delays on any account. So the, I mean, we are also trying to see that more and more private sector is engaged and outsourcing is also being done in a big way, apart from indigenization with Indian sources, so that the supply chain also becomes very robust with domestic supply chain and the dependency on the imports and the foreign OEMs comes down. So we are taking a multi-pronged approach, both in terms of capacity expansion, improving our manpower, increasing our manpower requirement as and wherever it is required, also increasing the private sector participation on the various programs to see that the deliveries are made in time. Right. The other thing Mr. Anand Krishnan I wanted to talk about was, uh, you know, what is the plan exactly when it comes to the export market? Because if I'm right, uh, currently the percentage of export sales stands at a meager 1%. What is it that you hope to scale it up to, not just in FY25, but say the next two years as well? Uh, 
you, you see the export market, we have started focusing on the export market only during the last two to three years. Before that, our focus has always been to see that the indigenous defense customers' requirements are being met. Now that we have started focusing and perhaps uh, the other reason where we are uh, rather bullish on exports is that the, today we have got a product uh, profile where a large number of indigenously designed and developed products are available. Whereas we had earlier had only one licensed, I mean all of licensed production and only one indigenous, uh, our own product, where, which is the uh, only one which was available for export. With the sort of product profile and with the initiatives which we have taken today, we are very aggressive on the, I mean, uh, marketing efforts as far as the global exports is concerned. We have established our various offices in the various MENA regions, Latin American regions and in the Southeast Asian regions. Apart from this, we are also engaging the channel partners in all these places and we are going little more aggressive than what it is and the interest which is beyond it is also reflected now with the interest being shown by the various countries and the leads which we are getting from different countries. We are we are expecting that uh, the both the Tejas as well as the ALH we will be in a position to see some breakthrough order in the next two to one to two year time frame. All right, sir. Really appreciate your time. So glad you could join us. So the big headline for us and look at the 18 now impact. The management of HAL, the current order book will move from sub 1 lakh to 1 lakh 25,000 by end of financial year. And it will also go up to. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to 18 now.